If your food disappears after you swallow, you're not alone. Most of us have no clue what happens next. Here's the fascinating trip your meal takes inside you. First stop, the mouth. Chewing with your teeth and mixing with saliva, your food turns into a soft ball called a bolus. Then, a wave-like squeeze called peristalsis pushes it down your esophagus. That's the tube to your stomach. This stage is quick, just a few seconds. In your stomach, powerful acids and enzymes break food down further, turning it into a soupy mix called chyme. The stomach churns and digests proteins and some fats. Food hangs out here for two to four hours before moving on. Next up, the small intestine. Think of this as your body's nutrient-absorbing factory. Bile from your liver and gallbladder, plus enzymes from your pancreas, finish the job. Tiny finger-like villi grab most of the nutrients and pass them into your blood. This takes about two to six hours. What's left moves to your large intestine, or colon. Here, water and minerals are soaked up, and good bacteria help break down fiber. Waste solidifies into stool. This part is slow, 10 to 48 hours, sometimes even longer. Don't forget, your liver, gallbladder, and pancreas are the unsung heroes, making sure everything runs smoothly. So, from mouth to exit, your food's journey usually takes one to three days, depending on what you eat, your health, and even how much water you drink. If you ever notice ongoing tummy troubles or changes in your bathroom routine, talk to your doctor. Follow for more quick medical explainers.